Females reappear carrying their ripe eggs in a pouch. Again, the numbers grow as the crabs move once more out of the forest. They are headed for their ancestral home, the sea. The urge to spawn is so great that nothing stops the migration. The crabs climb walls and cross paths. They even walk through the grounds of hotels. Their journey may be as long as six miles and can take several days. They need to find shelter during the hottest part of the day if they are not to die of dehydration. Trees provide natural cover. But today, the crabs can also enjoy the benefits and luxuries provided by tourist hotels. The crabs swarm up the windows and crawl under the shutters to avoid the hot ground and direct sun. The crabs are quite prepared to share a room with human guests, especially if there is air conditioning at night. The next morning the swarm is on the move on the last part of their journey. How the crabs know where the coast is and in which direction to move is a mystery. The final part is the toughest. The sharp pinnacles of an old coral reef are like miniature mountains for the crabs. In the cool of the morning, the crabs finally reach their goal. They can only spawn when the sea is calm, for otherwise they would risk being washed off the rocks and swept out to sea. These are land crabs, and they cannot survive in the sea. Some are nervous about entering this alien world. Others dive right in. Take their precious cargo of eggs into the sea. Very much like this is their last crabs. connection with their ancestral home. The eggs hatch immediately, and the next generation starts its life in the blue Caribbean. with billions of baby crabs. Wave after wave arrive at the coast to spawn. Every day new crabs shed their eggs into the Bay of Pigs. Once each female's pouch is empty, she heads back to the forest. It's on the return journey that the crabs face their greatest danger. There are millions of them in this one small area of Cuba. This annual spectacle has taken place every year for eons. 
Evolution has yeah. hardwired it into the crabs' brains. The crabs know how to find the sea and how to avoid dying from heat and loss of water. But evolution could not prepare them for the modern world. They have no way to deal with traffic. Tourist taxis give the crabs a chance to escape to safety. But other traffic is less considerate. Oh. The result is carnage. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, they just, they're running with their, like, arms up in the air. Stop! Please. Oh, the in there. The toll on the roads is huge and attracts vultures. This is a time of plenty for them. Despite appearances, most crabs survive their dice with death on the road. Though for some, it is a close shave. Oh, he's injured. The walking wounded and survivors head for the side of the road and the safety of the dry forest beyond. They'll not venture out of the forest again until the rains return. Living in the same forest is a bird whose ancestors